I'm taking a break from my uni wig to complain, so enjoy. So recently I've been uh, trying to quit smoking and I want to die. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job, I just put it that way. I started smoking when I was almost 19. I uh, started off with just like stealing <laughs> stealing my mother's tobacco and like just sparingly, don't get me wrong, I didn't like I didn't do it to an extent where she could tell that I was stealing her fags, but sorry, uh, where I live we say fags instead of uh, cigarettes. I'm not being homophobic, I promise. Um, <laughs> and you know, it was it was a stressful time, you know? So I was just like, fuck yeah, let's, I'm just gonna smoke because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> and obviously, like uh, most people who start using nicotine, I got addicted to it. Who would have guessed that that would have happened? I'm 22 now and I'm still smoking and I, I was like, just like everyone else, I was like, oh, I'll, I won't always smoke. Like, I, I, it won't. <laughs> I'll quit. <laughs> and I still haven't. I've been meaning to and I've been wanting to. It's just, I... <sighs> Recently, I realized that the cons do outweigh the pros. And yes, there are pros. Look, look in my, from my perspective, there are pros, okay? I know that you non-smokers will be like, oh, there's no pros. It's giving you cancer. But shush. Okay? And look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you. It's not because I'm afraid of getting cancer. Or because uh, my chest hurts, okay? That's not really what I give a shit about. I actually care more about the fact that my teeth are yellow. <laughs> That's literally what I care more about. I don't like uh, the fact that it makes your teeth yellow and it makes... Well, not, not like bright fucking yellow, but it makes them a little bit more yellow than they should be. Uh, it makes your tongue feel fucking weird and it smells. It smells bad. I don't, you know, I, what, like, what do you want me to say? I don't want to walk in somewhere and be, people be like, oh, this bitch smells like smoke. Like, I don't want that. And yes, these are very vain reasons. I understand that. But it's reasons nonetheless, you know? And, you know, there's more negatives to it now because now that my mother's quit smoking, I have to go outside to smoke because she doesn't like the smell, which means, you know, I have to go outside. I don't like that very much. Also, the price. I would be saving so much money if I didn't smoke. The thing is, is like, there, there is actually like, you know, there's gonna be things I'm gonna miss about it, you know? Like, you go to, I don't know what it's like for other, like, other places, but where I live, if you go out, like, say for a night out, and you go to a smoking shelter, you will make best friends. Probably only for that one night, but you'll make friends. If you start, like, uh, a new college course or uni course or you start a new job and you find out that someone else is a smoker, you're immediately best friends and there's nothing that either of you can do about it. I've met more nice people in a smoking shelter than I have anywhere fucking else. And, you know, I'll miss that. I'll actually miss that little social aspect of it. And, you know, there's also the fact that, like, if I'm, you know, if I'm stressed out or if I'm, um, and you take a break, it's like, oh, I'll just go, I'll go smoke. You know, then I, I immediately feel a lot calmer, a lot better. I'm not gonna have that when I quit. And it's sad. <laughs> also, there's like the stimulation side of things, you know, between like the actual movements of putting your hand to your face and smoking, whatever. But there's also like the rolling cigarette. Like if you roll your cigarettes, then you know how like addicting that is and how calming that is. Unless you're like in a rush or something or your hands are wet, then it's not calming at all. It's actually really fucking infuriating. But other than that, you know, it's pretty calming. And I, I'm... I do well with, like, stimulation and stuff. I, I like to have things in my hand. That sounds really bad. Don't fucking look too deep into that, please, for God's sake. It just gives me something to do, you know? When I feel like... When I feel like I need to, like, just drop everything and just go and do something, that's... It gives me something to do. Is it bad? Yeah, because I'm giving myself cancer, essentially. But... It relaxes me. <laughs> Kids outside my house. Fuck off, man. And you know, like I said, the cons definitely outweigh the pros. Like, you know, I have a new nephew and I want I don't want to smell like smoke when I'm around him. Um, I I would never smoke around him actually, but I don't want to smell like smoke around him. I don't want well, I just don't want to smell like smoke in general, to be honest. I don't want to keep having to go outside to smoke, but I also don't want to smoke inside because I don't want the fucking ceilings or the walls to go yellow. I don't want my teeth to go yellow. I don't want my tongue to feel fucking weird all the time because it does. It absolutely fucking does. Another thing that I didn't know about smoking before actually smoking was that it makes your fingers yellow. Like the finger, the, your, my, your index finger and your middle finger will go yellow sometimes. I don't like that. It's gross. I don't like that. So I know realistically 
it's a lot better for me to just quit but i don't want to <laughs> yeah sorry the, that like this is literally just uh just a complaint it's it's i have nothing to say other than that i was doing my uni work and then i went out for a cigarette and then i was like damn i don't want to stop doing this <laughs> but i know i need to i i should go back to doing my uni work now yippee